hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video so yes i am basically recreating and retelling a story that i told back in january this year so yes as you can tell from the title i'm basically going to be talking about binge eating and my experience with binge eating last year specifically during lockdown however for many reasons and for many good reasons that video is no longer on my channel i took that video down basically in 2020 during the first two lockdowns in the uk i went through a binge eating period and you know i'm retelling this story because a i think it's useful to share experiences that other people may have been through and you know to share these things so other people can relate and to not feel as alone and secondly i'm resharing this because i want to do it justice i know i can share this information the right way and so that's why i'm sitting here and doing it again like i've re-watched that video and i re-watched it before i planned and filmed this one i viewed that video from an entirely different perspective and i totally see now why it wasn't right like i totally get what other people were saying because yes i did receive a lot of critical feedback on my first video and quite rightly so you know i watched it back and i was like wow i really was just like missing the point and i was just myself turning a blind eye to what i knew deep down was the truth it's just so crazy because at the time when i filmed that i thought i was in the right headspace to do so but i clearly wasn't you know and like i'm sitting here now and i feel as if i've moved on and i've grown so much since then which just goes to show how much you can change and how much you can evolve over even a short period of time so yes i am going to be talking about binge eating if you are going to be triggered by anything to do with like food or body image or binge eating then please click off this video this is a trigger warning and obviously i'm not a professional like i'm not a doctor i'm not a nutritionist and i'm not a psychologist but i have since done a lot of like reading around binge eating so yes i basically want to share my story from a different and new perspective like actually share the truth about my binge eating story bring with it some you know like scientific knowledge from research and you know give you the encouragement to do something about it and to most importantly seek help like if you are in a situation a difficult situation and you don't know what to do please please get medical help like go and talk to someone because yes that is something again i failed to mention in my other video so i'm going to emphasize it now like please go and talk to someone but the final thing i will say sorry she's not done with her intro yet i just want to say a huge thank you to you guys that left comments on that video i filmed in january and left me critical feedback because you know like i'm so glad you called me out yes i didn't share that video in the right way you know i'm so glad i took it down because of your comments that i read and i've taken so much from that i've grown so much myself as i said so yes i suppose this is kind of like an apology i am really sorry ever since then i feel like i've just become hyper aware of what i put online and you know what i share and making sure i share stuff in the right way but obviously we're all just human we do make mistakes and that was a mistake on my part and yeah that's all i want to say for the intro now we're gonna move on basically jumping to the point as i said i went through a binge eating period in the latter half of 2020 during the two uk lockdowns the two first lockdowns but you know the primary reason why i went through that phase was because i wasn't eating enough you know i was under fueling under consuming my body just wasn't being properly nourished and that is what led me to binge and at the time i just didn't realize that i didn't realize that you know if i ate more during the day then i would feel more satiated in the evening and i wouldn't binge right binge eating is a vicious cycle because you don't realize that you're not eating enough during the day and so you start to binge in the evening and then because you've binged in the evening you don't feel like eating as much when you first wake up the next day and so you don't eat enough again and so when it comes to the evening you're really hungry and you eat more and you binge you know like that is the vicious cycle you feel trapped in this cycle and even when i filmed that video in january i still was like lying to myself i was still failing to admit to myself that you know holly you just need to eat more and you know in that video i placed emphasis on the fact that i was like chronically stressed at the time and i claimed that my stress levels were the cause of me binge eating now i don't disagree with the fact that i was very stressed last year like i was really quite chronically stressed and i had this underlying stress that was humming in the background and you know there were lots of reasons why i was stressed so there was like the pandemic that i mentioned the uncertainty me being really indecisive about my masters i was setting up polygemia which was kind of stressful i was stressing out way too much if i'm honest with you about my foot injury but that still was like stressing me out a bit i just wasn't happy at all at home and you know something i don't talk a lot about 
is like the hate online i was letting hate comments and negativity get to me way too much at the time so that was another contributing factor and you know like collectively yes i was stressed holly was stressed last year and i didn't really realize how stressed i was so i don't disagree with that at all but looking back and in hindsight which is such a powerful tool you know like being able to look back and realize the truth you know i believe now that the reason why i was binge eating was because as i said i was under consuming i wasn't eating enough i do think however that my stress levels were contributing to the binge eating they perhaps made it worse they exacerbated the problem so i do think they had a role to play i don't think it was completely unrelated as i said at the start of this video i did some reading around binge eating i read some papers some research papers just to like clue myself up and i thought i would share some of that with you guys in this video it's very accessible obviously everyone knows what a binge is like it's where you consume a lot of food in a very short period and you know like a lot of the research recognizes that binge eating is associated with losing control you know like someone loses control temporarily over their eating habits and afterwards that is often associated with you know feelings of guilt shame negativity and i can fully hands down say that that is the case a sample size of one person is not great and i know this is anecdotal but yes i binged myself and afterwards every evening i would feel awful i would feel physically sick sometimes and you know mentally i just felt so bad because i was like why did i just do that i would binge and then i'd say to myself you know i'm not going to do that tomorrow but I would find myself doing it again over and over and you just can't stop that's the vicious cycle as i said there are a lot of factors that influence binge eating that cause binge eating and that you know like maintain binge eating or binge eating habits and you know one of those is yes dietary restriction that is one factor at play it is causally linked to binge eating like if you don't eat enough that is going to cause someone to binge potentially and i think that was definitely the case for me but there are other factors as i said that influence binge eating so yes you have got dietary restriction there are things like stress which i think played a role in my case as well things like eating beliefs certain eating beliefs where someone's like you know eating makes me feel good that can contribute to binge eating there are things like low self-esteem if someone is really quite low and negative and doesn't feel great about themselves that can also influence binge eating something interesting that i read this paper that i read it had collected data from questionnaires and you know questionnaires aren't the most reliable source of information you know like binge eating was self-reported so there were limitations with this study but regardless it drew upon this model where binge eating could be caused by dietary restriction on the one hand but there was an alternative pathway to binge eating that was associated with like eating beliefs as i said before it's things where people say you know like i find comfort in eating you know it's okay to eat when you're stressed and so by that pathway the study kind of concluded that dietary restriction wasn't really involved in that case so that is my little biology interlude and chat for this video but i just wanted to bring some stuff from actual scientific studies obviously i'm not a professional and as i said at the start like if you need help like professional advice is always the best way to go coming back to my story then i basically as i said i went through this binge eating period for about like five months however what i mentioned in that last video as well leading up to that and for many years in advance you know i'd shown similar eating habits and tendencies you know all throughout my time at cambridge in my gap year when i was traveling i always leaned towards eating more in the evening and so i'm not really surprised that i went through this transient binge eating phase i think it got really bad in 2020 because that is when my body started to change a lot. I feel like my body had finally reached a point when it was like, I cannot go on like this anymore. I need to make this person eat more. I need more energy to kickstart the hormonal system again. I need to get this person to have a period. And so naturally my appetite was gonna increase and I was gonna need surplus energy to like kickstart processes again that hadn't functioned in a long time. So, you know, I needed to eat more, but again, I was just ignoring that. I was ignoring my body ultimately, which is such a bad thing to do because our bodies are like wired and they have evolved to, you know, keep us alive, to allow us to function at our best. But I was just ignoring those cues and those signals, which I do not advise and you shouldn't do. Like if you're hungry, you should eat. If you're full, you stop, you know? If you're hungrier one day than another day, okay, that's fine. You respond to that cue and you eat more. You listen to your body. Our bodies are so, clever going back to the whole kind of like stress thing i feel like something else that made me even more stressed was the fact that you know once i'd eaten a lot of food once i binged i saw that i looked bloated and over time i felt and i looked more and more bloated like i looked puffy in the face and i'd see that my stomach was so bloated it would swell to the size of someone who was pregnant you know like i saw in the mirror 
that my body was changing. I didn't like it at all, so that made me even more stressed. And my body was probably, yes, holding on to weight at the time because it needed to kickstart the processes again that hadn't worked in a long time, as I mentioned before, one being my period. The crazy irony of it is, is that, you know, I'd feel bad about binge eating, you know, I'd see myself in the mirror and I'd not like what I'd see. And so I'd feel bad about it and I'd want to stop, but because you're trapped and you feel trapped, you just can't stop and so you keep repeating this over and over again and you know like I felt as if I went from having like all control in my life to having no control and I'm not someone to easily give in and give up but at that point in my life I was just surrendering to like everything and I was like okay just binge just do what you want and it was a really crazy time. Coming on to then the final bit of this video about like what ultimately helped me. I had to eat more okay i'd never shied away from carbohydrates like i'd always eaten a lot of carbs but i needed to eat more fats and more protein so that i felt satiated after my meals and you know i just had to eat more so that when it came to the evening i wouldn't binge like i wouldn't feel hungry to the point when i needed to over consume and binge one of the hard things is that you know to get out of that cycle you need to eat when you are not hungry so as i said when i'd wake up in the morning having binged the evening before i wouldn't feel like eating but what i'm telling you is to get out of the cycle you need to eat more when you don't feel hungry because if you don't do that then you're just gonna end up in the same vicious cycle you're gonna binge again now i eat every single day in the morning like as soon as i wake up pretty much because i am naturally someone with a pretty fast metabolism i am naturally very active and so i cannot limit what i eat i wake up and every single day i eat pretty much first thing in the morning because i realize now that i need to do that that is what works for me okay the two final things i wanted to talk about were de-stressing which helped me this is something that's going to take time it's so much easier said than done i found that my stress naturally decreased as my body rebalanced you know and as i came out of the binge eating phase itself but you need to work on it actively anyway like you can't just rely on passive changes and the final thing i just wanted to mention was slowing down so in my video in january i basically said that what ultimately helped me was slowing down when i was eating you know being mindful of what i was eating now i don't disagree with the fact that that can help you and it definitely did help me but it's not the ultimate solution okay like if you still don't eat enough yet you try and slow down and you try and be mindful of what you're eating it's gonna work maybe temporarily as it did with me but it's not what's gonna help you get over your binge eating habits you know like you ultimately have to start fueling yourself properly the best thing about this video is me being able to sit here and say that i am finally at a place where i feel balanced and it did take me yes quite a bit of time to rebalance and to settle into a new routine but i have finally found it and you know once i realized what i was doing wrong or what i was not doing i you know have not binged since we do learn from our mistakes that's the sad reality of it but you know sometimes you do have to make quite big mistakes before it kind of like hits home quite soon after i post this video i am going to be sharing you know how i got my period back because a lot of that again is to do with like eating more but there are quite a few other things that i actively did to help me get my period back and i am planning lots of other similar kind of videos so yeah if you are interested in hearing any of that then definitely like this video comment down below if there is anything you'd like me to talk about specifically and yeah ultimately as i said at the start i really hope this video was shared in the right way and has been useful to listen to because you know as i said i wanted to do this justice i sincerely apologize and i hope to not make similar mistakes again but yeah thank you as always for you know being patient with me and for sitting here and listening to me in this video definitely give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it comment down below as i said and subscribe if you are new and as always i will speak to you very soon in another video bye